Hello and welcome to my next Notion Quick Tip. My name's Jonathan, I'm a small business owner with limited time and tons to do. In this quick tip video, we're going to be making a master task database. First of all, we use forward slash table and create a full table. I just prefer it personally. Name it master task database and make sure we rename the name to it, the task. Create a date. Then we're going to add a multi-select for the projects. This is just for now to make it nice and simple. And finally, an assign for those in a team. The project and client is going to be a placeholder for a later video where I teach you how to use relational databases. That's another video to be looking forward to. Finally, we're creating a status. You can also just use a checkbox if you're not working in a team. You don't need to check the status of everything. And then to round off our master task database, we're just going to add a client one as well. Now we're adding in an incredibly simple formula which asks whether the prop status is either complete. If it is, it will add a checkbox. Otherwise, it will be left blank. Good question. So what is the point? Master task database means you can have multiple views of the same data. So for example, here I'm creating a little gallery view, which is a nice visual way of seeing all the tasks you're working on with an extra little property there, which I'll show you how to make in another quick tip. On top of that, you have different filtered views where you can remove completed tasks or just filter by due dates. I release a quick tip video once a week, so make sure you're subscribed and you can look at the previous one on the screen now. And I'll see you next time. Bye.